Hello everyone, I can't believe that this is the game I find a hack for, but here it is, Miracle Girls Festival in a fully realized 544p. Now to my knowledge, this is the only Vita game using the Project Diva engine that renders any element at a sub-native resolution. So, here's the lowdown for the resolution using the unmodified executable. 3D elements during promotional video viewing and playing songs are 408p, while the UI and text are rendered at a native resolution. Most of everything else is rendered at 544p. The backstage, the collection room, the character model previews, but a peculiar and possibly overlooked aspect of the game rendered at a sub native resolution, which is when you are on the tour mode or one man live menus. Check this out. Selecting either of these modes dims the background and lowers the render resolution of the background to 408p, at least until you return to the main menu. So there's a little something else that can be improved. And thanks to the Z-Boot modification, we're getting a 78% increase in pixel count. Keep in mind that at this time, decrypted eBoots necessary for resolution hacks are only compatible with Vitamin or MyDumps. And I must say, even while upscaling to a 1080p display on the PSTV, the newfound clarity can make close-ups look mighty nice. Of course, viewing it on the Vita is where it shines best, especially for those who have been playing the game for the better part of three years. And the only way to do this justice is to share direct screen capture from the system. So, I've included a download link to a gallery of screenshots alongside a pre-modified eBoot so you can see the improvements in their true frame size and free from compression. Yes, the game and specifically the character models look great, however two pieces of bad news came to my attention during my testing. Having the game play on extreme difficulty through the shorter, TV edit version of the song list as a sample size, it's evident that frame pacing is a real issue. While there are lengths where the game is properly paced, at its worst, 16 millisecond frame time spikes can crop up every second. Secondly, there is slowdown when it falls short of 30 FPS, but oddly the UI and the character's mouse are unaffected by the slowdown and still sync to the music. With that said, let's move on to the game's performance at 408 and 544p. Miracle Girls Festival originally has the CPU and GPU clocked at 333 and 166MHz respectively, and at 408p that's all the game needs to hold its 30fps target. In fact, you can get away with bringing the CPU down to 266MHz in everything but the absolute worst case scenario, specifically when playing GoGo 575's Kotaba Sagashitai in the Forest Stadium, where the framerate dips a couple of times. 408p is a clear enough case. However, the res bump has proven to be too much. At 544p at stock speeds, the song setup menu will range from 24 to 30 FPS, so the menu will need a maximum GPU clock to lock to 30 FPS. Onto the songs, the only two to be locked at 30 FPS are the TV edit for Mashiro World and Innocent Blue. Mashiro World's is full version bucks a little bit in the Forest Stadium, the most taxing stage, and Innocent Blue's full version has a couple of dips on all stages except the least demanding stage, Tenku Tower. The rest of the songs, however, have some noticeable slowdown, or their performance tanks into low 20s once Miracle Fever time is activated. Kotobasagashitai is, again, the worst offender. Even on the Tenku Tower, there are still extended periods of frame rates in the mid 20s before and after Miracle Fever time is activated, reaching as low as 20 FPS. Now, the better performing songs, like Seven Girls War or Mogitate Fruit Girls, are certainly playable, but the video in the background is a big part of the experience. And that's certainly what the promotional video mode is for. So we should see how maximum clock speeds help the game. The good news is that ramping up the CPU and GPU to 444 and 222MHz respectively fixes all but two of the songs. The previously mentioned Kotaba Sagashitai has a couple of dips to 28FPS on Tenku Tower, and Tezaguri Club Song has a couple of dips to 27FPS on just the fourth stage. But hey, that's 20 of the 22 TV edits now always locked at 30fps. Both that and the little time I've spent on two of the full songs speak well for how all of the full versions perform. Well, that's all I've got. I'll keep you guys updated on any more resolution hacks that are found in future games I'll be benchmarking. A tutorial for easy resolution hacks based on the one made by Kabuto-kun and a pre-modified eBoot for the game are in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and have a good one.